Hey, what's up you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I'm going to show you the best method for storing your extension cords. Might look like a crazy mess, but this actually helps you avoid the tangles and the knots when you're going to use your extension cords. Also, the nice thing is you can kind of ball this thing up, throw it in, in your truck, throw it in your tool bag uh, or toolbox, and then when you're ready, you, you pull it out, extend out what distance of cord you need, and then get to work, and you're not fighting those knots. So just give me a couple minutes and I'll show you how to wrap your extension cord like this and avoid those knots going forward. Starting off, take your extension cord and try to extend it all the way out, taking out all the knots and just letting it lie flat. If it doesn't lie flat and you have a concrete or blacktop drive like, like this, you can let it lay there and hopefully the concrete is warm and it'll help it relax out. Then take both ends together and go along the cord to find the middle. Now a pro tip here, so you don't have to do that every time, is to take a permanent marker and mark that location so you always know right where the middle of your extension cord is. Okay, so now we have the center of the extension cord. You can start this a few different ways. This is just the method that I prefer. So I start off by creating just a loose loop. Then you reach your hand down through and grab the extension cord and pull that through that first loop. Okay, now you get your second one and you just repeat that process over and over for the length of the cord. Then once you get to the end for that last loop, I will just take the free ends and pass those through and then that will complete the daisy chain. So now we have our full daisy chain. This is a 50 foot extension cord. Now to extend it out, all we have to do is to undo that last little loop and then just pull out the cord and it will undo itself. And notice no knots, no kinks. Now you do not have to do unwind the whole daisy chain. If you only need this much cord, you're good to go and then you can rewind that once you're done. So in my opinion, this is the best way to store your extension cords. It's super forgiving. You can hang your extension cords, you can ball them up and throw them in the cabinet. And then when you take them out, it's gonna be easy to extend those out. You're not gonna be fighting with the twists and tangles and knots uh, like maybe you have before. So if you haven't already, don't forget to give us a like. We always appreciate that. And subscribe to our channel because we have new videos coming out made for new homeowners or maybe just somebody new to DIY. We really try to break everything down step by step and we don't use a bunch of fancy tools because we know most of you guys are not gonna have those around the house and you still need to get the job done. So we'll catch you on the next one and take care.